Hello Nation. Today we're going to talk about the only patch pump available in the United States for people with type 1 diabetes and also a subset of folks with type 2 diabetes. Now, why am I wearing a t-shirt and a stethoscope around my neck? Well, stethoscope around my neck to make sure you know I'm a doctor because I'm wearing a t-shirt and I'm wearing a t-shirt because I want to show you where I put my Omnipod a little bit later. Now, there are different types of pumps on the market. Typically, there's the traditional pump that looks like the size of a pager. It has tubing, and at the end of the tubing is an insertion uh, tube that goes into your subcutaneous tissue. Now, the Omnipod doesn't have tubing, and this is what the current Omnipod looks like. Now, just to show you the comparison, the older pod was quite a bit bigger, and the newer pod is a third smaller and 25% lighter, yet they both hold 200 units of insulin. There are other little benefits and improvements as well. It's tethered better to your skin. The catheter that goes through your skin is colored so you can see it. And the way it works is you take a syringe that comes with your little kit and you they come in boxes of 10 uh, and you fill it up with insulin you stick the needle, which is fairly small, right into a little hole. You fill the reservoir. You pull off these little stickers here, like a Band-Aid, and you stick it right on your arm. And that's where I like to put my Omnipod. Then you push insert, and the catheter, which is very small, gets put into your skin with, with a needle, just kind of like any old insertion. The needle automatically withdraws back into the pod. So the only thing left in your arm, right after you insert it, is a small flexible catheter. And for the next 80 hours, you have your controller that you give yourself boluses, and you also have your basal rate. Now the controller also acts as a glucose meter you input all your personal data, your insulin to carbohydrate ratio, your correction factor, what your goal glucose is, and you can control the way you give your boluses, you know, either all at once or all at once or over a, a continuous period of time or a combination of the, of the two. And you can have different basal rates. It has a carb counter in there. So the bottom line is when it comes to insulin pumps, we have choices and the Omnipod, the brand new smaller one, is quite convenient, doesn't have the tubing, and you have a wireless control. A lot of folks like the traditional pumps. Other folks like to be on multiple daily injections. It comes down to personal preference, but one of the goals of the Edelman Report is to let you know about all the new technology. So long, nation.